bracelet. We got some electrical thing. It's a piranha. We also got coin. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. It's Emmy. Today we're gonna be doing some magnet fishing. We're in a completely new area, a new water system and everything. So I'm super excited to check it out with the magnet. We checked the weather today and it says it feels like 103 and we're gonna be in the hot sun. I've been drinking my water to make sure I don't get dehydrated and hopefully there's just no problems with the heat. With that being said, if you like what you see, don't forget to leave a like and let's get with it. We got our gloves on. We got our rope and our bucket with our magnet. This spot is away from the city and there's spray paint everywhere on the bridge. So this feels like it's gonna be a spot where people hang out and probably dump stuff, which is super sad that people dump stuff in the water. But we're here to find it and pull it out. Whoa! Oh, that's not gonna fit in the trailer, I don't think. That's mm. super long. So this is the spot. Bryce just found something that's really big, animal. which is awesome. Let's take our first throw. This is kind of a tall bridge kind of deep here. I feel some clicks, but I need the magnet to surface. Ooh, this is definitely really heavy. Oh my gosh. You got something coming, it looks like. Oh. oh man, we just clicked off, but I got a piece of it. I wish this bridge was a little bit shorter. Here we go. We got a couple big cornflakes. So whatever I just had, this is a tiny piece of it. And this is our first find of the day, which is pretty cool. We also got a little coin, it looks like. Whoa, this is really cool. It's really worn away, but I can almost see something. A maple leaf? It doesn't look like a maple leaf though. Bryce says it might be a Canadian coin, but it looks more like an oak leaf or something. We're gonna have to put right, that to the side and clean it off later to see if we can figure out what it is. But that's super cool. We got a coin in the bucket. Ooh, there's something metally right down there. Oh, that's really heavy. And it's right below me. Whoa! What is it? I don't know what that is, but it's freaking huge. Oh my god. That's gosh. a lot of metal. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that up. We need a winch, man. Holy cow, what is that? Does it look like a piece of a truck, maybe? Dang, <laughs> that thing was too big for us to get alone. We really need a winch. But we just got a tiny little bit piece of it. And if we had to pick it piece by piece with cornflakes, that would take a long time. We're gonna put it in the bucket. It's a few days later from when I found the coin. We're about to take a closer look and try to figure out where this coin is from because I wanna know. I have so many questions. So that's the close up of the coin. We're about to Google and see if we can find this coin. I'm going to type in old oak leaf coin. The oak leaves in this coin look super similar, but not exact because there's a date right under this part of our coin. So let's keep looking. Let's type in the lettering we see on this coin. R-E-P-U-S. Oh, I found a coin that is literally identical and it's a 19... 64 German to, I'm gonna butcher that, Piffing Oak Leaves Vintage Collectible. That is our coin, y'all, look at that. And it could be a two Piffing. I do apologize, I have no clue how to pronounce that. If anyone's an expert in coins, please confirm my quick Google searching and let me know if I'm right or if I'm really wrong and far from it. I'm pretty sure this coin was in circulation before the Euro was created. I'm just full of questions because I don't know why an old German coin was in the bottom of the river in Arkansas, which is in the middle of the United States. What the heck? That's really far away from Germany. Hey, you never know what you're gonna find when you go magnet fishing. Hey guys, I have bad news. We are broke down on the side of the road. It's not good. I'm stressing. I'm sure the guys are stressing too. We're outside the bus and I just want to show you the situation. So here's the bus, road, bridge, cliff, and it just goes off. We're literally on the side of a mountain and there's a thunderstorm coming our way. We're watching it come across the mountain and we are stuck on an incline. So it could not be more worse. We're currently waiting on a mechanic to come look at the RV. So we're just outside checking out the storm that's coming closer and closer to us. So it's the next day and we are no longer stuck on the side of the mountain with the broke down bus. We were there for about three or four hours. A mobile mechanic did come out and he figured out our problem was low water in the radiator, which we have been in some super hot climates recently, which caused the water in the radiator to evaporate bloop into the air. We're about to go check out a new area to do some magnet fishing. We're walking up on the bridge right now. Look at all the swallows. Let's throw our magnet in. This place is kind of shallow. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I don't, is this just fish in it or grass? That's not in a metal, so that's a dud. We're walking up on a bridge and it was built in 1979. 
Oh, this may not be good because there's a boat. Is my concern that there's boats going under, so that'd be kind of bad. Let's take a throw. Already. Nope. My hopes for this bridge is going down the drain. This bridge is really tall, and I have a, something dangling on the magnet. Okay. Oh. Whoa, I'm already tired. It's not because this is the first row of the day, but we've been fishing for about an hour trying out different spots and stuff. And this is the first bridge that's actually producing for us. But we got a very, very corroded, wiggly, bent piece of rebar. Gets to go in the bucket. Woohoo! Oh no. I just got snagged. You're snagged too? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's these rocks. Oh, well, this is a bad sign that Bryce and I both got snagged on rocks and rocks are dangerous too, just like logs. So we're gonna go to another bridge. Our lonely piece of rebar gets to have some friends now. We're at bridge number six, seven something, I don't know. Here it is. Let's take a throw. Woo. Oh, Ugh. ooh, look at this. We got some piping. We got two things on our magnet, some hose piping with all these clamps on it. Usually I just get the little clamp right there. This is, oh what? What you got? Oh, he's got a gun on the first row. Yo. Oh it, this one's what? way newer. We finally found something cool. We've literally been out all day, bro. Not loaded, but. Oh That's my goodness. Cool. Dude, that thing can clean up. Are the serial numbers on it? Serial numbers on it. Oh, it opens. Dude, that's super cool. Yep, that's going to clean Hey, Blake, up. we're twinsies. We're no, twinsies we're now. Got yeah. the same pistol. Mm -hmm. I see something on the magnet. You gotta go slow. Oh, water's went in my eyeball. I can't see. Ah, oh, blink, 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 blink. Oh, what did we get? Seeing some nails, which I'll take, because today has been a rough day in the bucket. We also got this metal bracket of sorts. I honestly thought it looked like part of an old horseshoe, but I guess not. I guess go in the bucket. My magnet is dragging along the bottom. It feels like a hard bottom. Ooh, look at that. We got, ooh, a bunch of little nails and a big old bent nail, like going this way and boop that way. It must have been in wood or something to get bent like that in the bucket. We even got a little metally rock right there. Well, this day has been really hard and we've only found like a hose pipe and a gun at this bridge. And we've been out all day. So we're gonna pick up this video tomorrow. Bye y'all. We are back in my home state, Georgia to do some magnet fishing and maybe we can find some goodies here. Look both ways. Okay, we're good. We're moseying on over to the other side. It really feels like we have something on the magnet. Ooh, what is that? Oh, this is heavy. We gotta stop spinning so I can get it past the bridge. Spin, 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 spin. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, whew, that's heavy. Look at it. We got two large nails, and then we got this piece of rebar right here. We got this piece of cable. It's a V for victory. It doesn't fit in the bucket, so we're just gonna lay it next to the bucket. Oh, that's a large click. Oh, it's big. Why is this so heavy? Oh, whoa. The hard part. Oh yeah. We got a hand on it. There we go. Oh. All right. We oh, finally yeah. got something interesting today. He also got a little. Wow. All right. And he's got a bike. Pretty cool. This is the biggest find of the day. It's a piranha. Whoa, this bike is a piranha bike? I didn't know piranhas had bikes. Do you think a piranha rides a bike? Okay, let's drag it over here. Ooh. Let's really look at this bike. Got the, all the handlebars on it, the whole frame, even the kickstand is on that side right there. We're just missing the little thin pieces of wire to keep the tires going, but other than that, it's like in great shape. And we have the little reflector on the back. Awesome, look at that seat. That's a pretty leather design. And there's some fishing line all caught up on it. That is awesome. Also on our magnet right there, we got a little spinner with a red hook. It's yellow. It reminds me of ketchup and mustard right there. Pretty cool. This one gets to go in the bucket. And we got some just scrappy scrap goodies. That bike was pretty heavy, but I'm glad we got it out of the water. My magnet's acting like we got something else. Oh man, oh, I don't know. I got a bunch of stuff. We got a long, 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 long piece of rebar. We got some electrical thing and there's rebar. That's just some long rebar. Whoa, 
that rebar goes from the bike to over there. I hope this rebar fits in the trailer. I guess go in our pile because it's a little too big for that bucket. But we got this electrical thing. Oh, there's more of it. Look at it. It's a power cord. Oh, it says Dell on it. An AC adapter with wires. Oh, here's another wire on it. Is this like a Dell charger for a computer? Got a little green light right there that you plug into the computer and then you plug into the wall, which is awesome. We just need a Dell computer now. Let's put it in the bucket. Whoa. Look at all these cocoa pebbles. Wow. There's resistance on my magnet. Oh my gosh. What is all that stuff? Uh, is that another long piece of rebar? I'm already getting my workout for the day. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Let's get it. There we go. This is a long piece of rebar. It's like two of Emmys or three of Emmys stacked up on top of each other. Woo. Oh my gosh, we got a pretty good pile going on. With our rebar, we just got a giant scrappy pine full of cocoa pebbles. Clean off our magnet. We're gonna load this stuff up into the trailer and then hop to another bridge. Bend the rebar so it fits in the trailer. Bryce and Blake are the rebar experts. And that looks like a giant loop they use for crochet. We're in at another bridge. Ooh. Oh, we got a dangler. Look at that. We got a bracelet! We got a cuff right there. Like, this is a real bracelet. Woo! Look at that. It fits. Oh, that's awesome. Taking a closer look at this bracelet, the pattern is wavy. It reminds me of the ocean and water. Super cool. If anyone knows what type of metal this is, please let me know. With our first magnet fishing bracelet of the day, we got this wire cable, I think. There's copper coming out at this little end right there. Cool. Let's put it in the bucket. And we got one tiny shiny screw this road is really busy oh oh let's see we got a big old spring we can make a mini slinky dog with that we got a big old bridge bolt right there and a shiny piece of metal oh yo this is the earring there's the backing of the earring right there and it's shiny too i wonder if this was nickel plated or silver plated or something like sterling silver plated in the bucket and then this tiny little silver thing, is that a ring? Maybe. It doesn't even fit my pinky finger in the bucket. That's a big old click. Whoa, we got some danglers on the magnet. Oh no, oh no, they hit the bridge. Go, let's go. Oh, Woo. man, we got two big old danglers. This looks like part of a rack frame or something. Maybe this is the leg post of a shelf that's really tall. In the bucket it goes. It barely fits in the bucket. We got this, this long pipe. Maybe it was used for irrigation or something. Is there any water in it? Not too much. This is not a leaky pipe. Let's go right there. We also got a little nail and what is this? This is shiny. Oh shoot. It says O-P-P-A-W. O-Paw. Is this like a bracelet or maybe a pin or something? Man, we're finding a lot of shiny things. If anyone knows what this is, this is the front. This is the back with O-P-P-A-W. This looks like a little latch, so I'm not too sure. If anyone knows, please let me know. It's the same kind of metal look. Like it was plated with a precious metal and then there's something else on the inside. We got a curvy piece of metal. Giant piece of rebar made me lose some stuff, but we still got some goodies. Oh, wow. Woo. We got a cluster of things on the magnet. I got a pretty big churro right there, put some cinnamon and sugar on it. I could gobble it up. That'd be a good midway magnet fishing snack right there. Or it's a piece of cable. Look at this little pin. I'm not really familiar with what you'd use this pin piece of metal for, but it's cute. A big old nail, a bracket of sorts. Got an orange coloring to it. This weird switch looking thing. It looks like it could be a metal Hershey's Kiss with a little flag coming out of it. Pretty cute. Oh, this saltine cracker is super metal-y. Woo! Finally! We got a little saltine cracker. This was salty about being brought out of the water. It didn't want to come. But we got it off the magnet and it's in the bucket. Woo! Look at that! We got two more churros. Oh no, I hope they're okay. <laughs> oh man, something happened. That's not good. It was three fire station vehicles. We got a V, we got another V. It's a win! Woo! Also, cable or some churros. Let's go. Whoa! 
hit the fire truck with the ladder. That's not good. Oh look, that swing magnet swing. Ooh, feeling some play. Oh my gosh, it's more rebar. Oh, this spot is loaded with rebar. Whoa. Fortunately, it was a shorter piece of rebar, so I was able to get it without too much sweat. Look at that in the pile in the trailer. We got some scrappy goodies at this bridge and some real pieces of jewelry. Now let's go to another bridge and see what else we can find. Oh my goodness. Whoa, we gotta get this magnet up. Wow. We got the nail galore right here. Some fishing line. Oh my goodness. Whoa, another nail. Look at the size difference. This one and then that one. Sell. We've been in a dry spell for a bit, so I'm so happy just getting a nail. Oh. What is that? It's wood with like a nail. Whoa. Look at it. It's a giant nail with wood in it. That's a first for me. I've never found something like that before. We're gonna put it in the bucket. So we just got to another bridge and the old bridge posts are right there. Oh, I got a piece of it. This plastic and, yeah. and a screw. What do we got? Oh man. Okay. Some kind of heater. Something gas going right there. I bet this is a kerosene heater. Wow. Piece of a heater. All right. Blake got that It's getting hot in that here. That's so where the oil's coming from. Oh, I get something else. Ugh. Looks like a piece of rebar right there. Looks like it could be a good old walking stick. What do we got? What do we got? Look at these goodies. The trail mix we got going on. This looks like the little buckle part of an old belt right there. And then we just got a bolt, a tiny piece of rebar, and then this shiny piece of metal that looks like a hinge or a sun chip. Taking a closer look at this, we think it might be an old trowel or a hoe thing where you stick it on a wood post right there and you use it in the garden. Got a little scrappy scrap pieces of metal right there. They kind of look like chicken nuggies in the bucket. This one decided to fall down, but in the bucket again. And a teeny tiny bridge bolt right there. It's so cute. It is starting to rain, which honestly feels great because it's been so toasted today. And I'm glad I'm wearing my bikini because we are getting wet right now. I hope y'all enjoy the video. I can't wait to take you on another magnet fishing adventure. Bye.